and we're gonna come to our side and just allow yourself to settle in. Knees can be closer to the chest or long, however you want them. They can be bent or long, however you like them to be. And just allow yourself to arrive. Putting aside anything that may have occurred prior to not necessarily giving it a meaning of good or bad, it just is. And for this next hour, just allowing yourself just to be in the present moment. Not rushing to get beyond these moments. And as you lay on your side, just allow yourself to notice that you are breathing. Notice the side portion of your body against the earth, the rise and fall of the side of your stomach, of your ribs, of your arms resting on the earth, the rise and fall of your hips. your thigh, your leg. And if that open arm is resting on your side body, the rise and fall of that arm as you breathe in and you breathe out. Noticing the openness of your back. And in this place, just allow yourself to simply let go. Allowing yourself fully supported, fully held. I offer you these words from Octavia Rahim in her book called Gather. She asked this question, how much longer will you be too busy to fully enter into your own life? She goes on to say, stick out your tongue. Allow the infinite nectar of joy to drip there. Nothing is in the void. And so is everything. The cosmic market is always open. Will you keep circling the door? How much longer will you be too busy to fully enter into your own life? Will you keep passing your blessings by? I know of a place. We can go there and pause. Let go. Soften down. Empty of conditioning. Fill up with our truth. In that place, our needs are already covered. There, the only question is simply this. Beloved, 
What do you want? And so in this practice on today, I invite you to honor what it is that you want. Honor what it is that you need. And in these next few minutes of communal silence, Allow yourself to simply check in, have conversation with yourself. Ten more breaths here. Perhaps these last five breaths are the deepest breaths that you've ever taken, maybe for today, maybe for this week. Deeply inhaling, deeply exhaling. And on each inhale and exhale, invitation for a deeper release, a deeper softening, a deeper ease. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking that open hand, raising it up towards the ceiling and rotating the wrist, opening up the fingers, moving as you need. And when you're ready, extending the invitation to make small circles on the ceiling going in both directions. Making sure that you're breathing, inhaling, exhaling, not holding your breath, not holding your jaw, on your brow to relax. And when you're ready, Sending the invitation, you may stay right with the small circles or widening them, sweeping arm around, opening up the shoulder. And if you've gone in one direction, going in the other direction, And 
when you're ready, just take that open arm and extend it out to a T going into your recline twist. And you may need to, uh, if you like, put something underneath your shoulder, in between your legs, in terms of your knees, placing a blanket in between your knees. Breathing in. Ten more And when you're ready, slowly bringing the knees up and around and just kind of grabbing them and maybe rocking side to side. Massaging that lower spine. And if you want to take a happy baby here, I invite you to do that. And when you're ready, go ahead and place the soles of the feet down on your mat. Raising that right leg up to the ceiling. And when you're ready, maybe rotating that ankle, opening up the toes. And when you're ready, taking that right ankle and placing it on the left knee, so figure four. Breathing here. And you have the invitation of staying right here, but if you like to raise that left leg, whether the knee be bent or long, whatever works for you. Drawing in that right hip. Breathe here. When you're ready, slowly release, placing both of the soles of the feet on the mat. And just pause here. And when you're ready, go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. And whatever side that you, the opposite side of where you were, just go ahead and take your knees to that side for a recline twist on the other side. Whether you started on the right, now being on the left, or if you started on the left, being on the right. Breathe here. Arms can be out in the T. 
placing a blanket or a block in between your knees if you need to. Something underneath that shoulder. Again, arms, hands can be any variation, overhead, triad. Breathe here. And this side may feel different. And that's absolutely the way it's supposed to be. duality of our beings. Five more breaths. When you're ready, only when you're ready, just bring, whether that be your right or your left arm, right along aligned with the other arm in a fetal position. Laying on your side. Breathe. Noticing the rise and fall of your side body against the earth. Rise and fall of your stomach, of your ribs. The hip. thigh and the leg. And when you're ready, go ahead and raise that open arm to the ceiling. Rotating that wrist, opening up the fingers. When you're ready, making small circles with that arm. Making sure that you're inhaling and exhaling with that movement. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the brow. And when you're ready, extending the invitation of making those big sweeping circles. Three more breaths here. And 
when you're ready, go ahead and lower that arm onto your side and just pause here. Breathing here. And I pose the question to you again. What is it that you want, beloved? What is it that you need? When you're ready, only when you're ready, coming up to a seated position. And eventually we'll swing around to hands and knees. And hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. And we're just going to go intuitively into our cat cows, rounding the spine, exhaling. Inhaling, curving the spine, or if it's opposite for you in terms of your breath, that's absolutely fine. Breathing here. And if you'd like to introduce more intuitive movement of moving your hips side to side, whatever it is that you need. And when you're ready, placing the left hand in front of your face, raising the right up and threading the needle. Breathing here. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, easing on up, taking your time, raising that right hand back up to the ceiling, stretching and then placing it back down on your mat and doing what it is that you need, whether it means moving your hips side to side, cat, cow. Beautiful. And when you're ready, placing that right hand in front of your face and raising the left to the ceiling. And taking threading, thread the needle on the opposite side. Breathing. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, coming back up and 
raising that left hand. Beautiful. Yeah, y'all know what to do. Intuitively do what you need to do. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, we will eventually come up to a standing forward fold. Taking your time. Knees can be bent. Just really allow yourself to open up Allowing your head to hang heavy, feet flat against the ground. And when you're ready, we're going to go into some movement. So halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna come all the way up to mountain pose and stand. This is not a passive pose. Allow your shoulders to relax, roll down the spine. Breathing here, feet flat. Standing strong in your power. And when you're ready, we're gonna flow through some moon salutations, nice and easy, maybe two or three. So here we go. Hands overhead, palms touching. Inhale to the left, our feminine side. Beautiful. Exhale to the middle. Inhale to the right. Coming up. Breathing here, going into our goddess pose. Beautiful, breathe here. Five point star, beautiful. Hinging at the hips to the left, going into triangle. Hand can be on shin, on knee, on thigh, or on a block, it does not matter. Breathe here. And when you're ready, bring that right hand down for a high lunge. Hand can be on the thigh. Breathe. And when you're ready, coming up to warrior one. Beautiful. Going into warrior two. Excellent. And when you're ready, coming back to the middle of the goddess pose. And when you're ready, going to the right into warrior two. Bringing that hand aligned all the way up to warrior one. And when you're ready, going into your high lunge. Straightening out that right knee, going into your triangle. Coming up into five point star. Goddess pose. And back to mountain. Great. Beautiful. So we're gonna do this two more times. Maybe just pick it up just a bit more. And we're just gonna flow. That's all, I'm not gonna call it sway. Do your thing. Here we go.
One more. You guys are flowing. Y'all got this. Flow like you want to. It does not have to look or be like anything except your flow. So here we go. One last time. in your power, beautiful. Breathe. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, hinging at the hips or forward fold. And when you're ready, coming down to hands and knees. Breathing here. We're just gonna get into our hips a little bit more. So bringing that right knee forward. Breathing here. And you know where I'm going. <laughs> so you have the invitation of staying right here or taking that right foot forward, leaning in or dragon, lizard, whatever you want to call it. Breathing here. Getting into that hip. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, coming all the way back. And you can use blocks as a support going into runner's lunge. Breathing here. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, just coming forward and bringing that right knee down. Maybe shaking it out. And when you're ready, bringing your left foot forward. And you have the invitation of staying here or taking that left leg forward towards the edge of your mat, leaning in for dragon on this side or lizard. Breathing here. Three more breaths here. And 
when you're ready, slowly releasing and going back into runner's lunge on this side. Breathing here. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, taking that right, the left knee back, doing what you need to do, eventually coming to your belly. Coming all the way down. Just pause here, hands can be stacked. Noticing the rise and fall of your front body against the earth, the openness of your back. Breathing deeply. And when you're ready, Gently come up into Sphinx Pose with our elbows underneath our shoulders. Our hands flat against our mat. Fingers wide. Just breathe here. Head can hang low. Allowing for the openness of the back of the neck, moving it side to side. And when you're ready, let's just take our hands over to the right side of our mat for a side stretch. Looking over our shoulder. Breathing here. Five more breaths here. When you're ready, coming back to center. And when you're ready, just going over to the other side, to the left side, for that side stretch on the other side. Breathing here. Five breaths here. And when you're ready, 
coming back to center. Go ahead and lower back down. Head can be on the mat or stacked up on, on stacked hands. Breathing here. And when you're ready, just taking that right knee aligned with your right hip or half frog. Breathing into that space. And you have the invitation to stay right here. But if you'd like to extend that right leg out, that's also an invitation to you, yours for the choosing, either one. Extending that right leg in line with the left hip, with the left leg. Maybe shaking the hips side to side. Maybe even massaging that third eye of moving your forehead side to side. And when you're ready, only when Taking that left knee, aligning it with your left hip or half frog on the other side. sure that you are breathing. Notice that you are breathing. Feel and sense the support that's beneath. Much like the other side, extending the invitation to either stay right here or to extend that left leg.
When you're ready, go ahead and take that left leg, aligning it with the right. Shaking the hips side to side. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, we're going to come to our backs, just very gently. If you have a blanket or a pillow nearby, we're going to take a restorative bridge. So taking the blanket and placing it underneath that lower back area, and it can be as high as you need it. Just allowing yourself to rest there. And we did not do figure four on the other side. I just realized that. <laughs> so if you like to revisit that here in that restorative bridge pose, I invite you to do that if you so choose. Or you can stay right where you're at. It actually can be quite nice that figure four with the support underneath the lower lumbar area. Breathing here. And certainly you can stay right here when you're done with that. Certainly you can go ahead and release. And you have the option of extending one leg at a time, long, opening up the hip flexor even more, or taking legs up the wall. It does not matter, whatever it is that you prefer. Or you can stay right where you're at. Remembering to honor what it is that you want, what it is that you need is the most important thing. when you're ready, only when you're ready, you are more than 
welcome to stay right here or to transition into your final resting pose. This may be your final resting pose. But whatever it is, just allow yourself just to be as fully supported and at ease. You allow yourself to be even more softer. Settle further into your final resting pose. Feel, sense, and know. That you are fully held and fully supported. Feel, sense, and know that you are fully embraced. Feel, sense, and know that of compassion and acceptance. Notice that you are breathing. Notice how you feel. Notice the sounds around you. Notice, feel, and sense what is in the room. Perhaps the oscillating fan Perhaps the warmth of the sun coming in through the shades of the window. Notice 
Notice the sounds outside of the room. Perhaps that of people talking or that of movement. Notice your body within the space. And when you're ready, all the way when you're ready, taking a deep inhale in, exhale out. that one more time. Deep inhale in, exhale out. And in deepening your breath, introducing whatever feels natural to your awakening, wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers, perhaps moving your knees side to side. Whatever that is. come up to a seated position, however we get there. Taking our time. When we're ready, placing our left hand on top of our heart, our right on top of our left. Gently tucking our chin. And just pausing there, feeling the heartbeat, feeling the flow of breath. May you be happy and peaceful. May you be strong and healthy. May you be confident and courageous. May you be safe and protected. May you be at ease with yourself just as you are, leaving nothing out. The light in me sees the light in you. May you be safe. May you be well. May you always take care. Thank you. Thank you much. I'm going to unmute you all. Okay. I unmuted you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was such a lovely practice. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Really nice. Thank you. I hope you both have a good evening. Oh, you too. You too. Have a wonderful evening. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have Bye. a good evening. See y'all later. <laughs> Bye-bye.